Okay. Eighteen. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, is that others got that? So, in terms of a vector picture, here's what's happening. When you're adding these two, the sum is kind of coming out like this. When you put this to the tip of that, the total magnetic field is coming out like that. You see? So it just so happens that this one is big enough, so when you put it to the tip of that, the B total ends up with a positive X component and a positive Y component, and it's in the first quadrant, the magnetic field created by that, okay? And all over in, in this board, these two wires are going to create a magnetic field like that. At each point, there's going to be a magnetic field. Just like for charges, there's an electric field created by the charges, okay? Now, if I wanted to find the magnitude of that, all I would do is just square root of 18 square plus 19.2 square, and then it'll be nano Teslas. Right? And then if I want, wanted to get the angle of that from the, the x-axis, so it's going to be a little less than 45 degrees, this angle right here. The angle that the B total makes with respect to the x-axis. A little less than 45. Okay. Okay, now if we go to the force, then now you see it's not simply, simply going to be the current there. If I put the wire there, and did I say it was going into the board uh, or out of the board for part D? Into the board. Okay, so if I put a wire there with a the current going into the board, the force isn't just simply going to be, oh, that current times the, the uh, magnetic field. I would have to apply the right-hand rule again. So let's just redraw it here. Let's say here is the wire. The magnetic field total is like this. What's the force on that wire going to be? So use F equals IL crossed into B, right? Okay, so the, the B is, uh, the L is going into the board, right? And the B is going that way. So the force is this way. So that wire will feel a force this way 90 degrees from the magnetic field. So it'll be uh, something like this, along this direction. OK? Now, to do this, um, I could either take the total B and uh, let's see here. I could uh, get the, uh, yeah, here's, here's, one, here's what I'm going to do. F equals, so I'm going to take the current of this wire, right? The I, in this case, is the I3. So what's the I3? Uh, oh, I, I erased, erased it, right? 1.5, right? 1.5. And then I'm going to do a, an actual cross product, right, with a determinant. And then I'm going to put the components of the L along the second row, components of the B along the third row, and actually take a a determinant. But it's going to end up being an easy determinant because the L is in the Z direction only. All right? Uh, so the, uh, the components of the L are what? X is 0, Y is 0, and the L is going into the board, right? So it's a negative, a negative Z direction. Negative 100 meters because the length of the L was 100, and the reason it's negative is going into the board, okay? 
and then the components of the B. Uh, what was it? The X component was uh, uh, X component was 19.2 nanoteslas, and the nano we'll just put out here. And the X component of the magnetic field was 18. And the magnetic field has no Z component. OK? So when you take the determinant of that, uh, that's going to be 1.5 times 10 to the minus 9. And then you take the I hat, cross it out, cross it out. This minus this, this is 0. Minus that gives you a positive 1,800, right? Minus j hat, and cross this, cross that. OK, so you get 0 minus that. So again, it becomes positive. Um, so 19.2 times 100. I can bring the two zeros out if I want. I'll just write it 1.7 uh, times, uh, you know what, let me just keep it this way. I'm going to keep it like this. 1800 I hat minus 1920 J hat uh, nano Teslas. I mean, not Teslas anymore. It's uh, nano, uh, nano Newtons. Or if I want, I could write it as F equals 1.5. Go back three spaces. So it'll be 1.8 I hat minus 1.92 J hat micronewtons. Now that's probably better. 1.8 minus 1.92. And it should match with your right hand rule, right? The, it has a positive component, the force, and it has a negative uh, J component. OK, 1.5, 1.8 minus 1.92 micronewtons. OK, good. So it was easier to do the force once we had the magnetic field. The magnetic field was a little bit of the tougher one.